if you look left, right, you have seen the resistance very easily. Correct or wrong? Just put in the boxes, and if it is a good level, all right, uh, it should hit you. The only problem about this is what? What is the only problem? The only problem about all these levels, whether it's boxes or whether it's not, all right, uh, it, this, this was the, the resistance level. It can be this level here, okay? Or it can be this level here. See this one? Ah, that's the problem. And that's where we are scared because it might just go up, right? And this could be a difference of $400 versus, let's say, $350. So that's the $50 range here, right? But if you apply the boxes, all right, then you can see the trend very clearly. Okay, so this is very nicely a downtrend. So we just have to take a little bit step back right and and have a look and you say hey look so this was the high so this was the high box high and then this was the box high so short term is an uptrend but long term is actually a downtrend as being resistant all right now then in this case uh, what happened then uh, we have to wait long okay so i think that uh, we went inside the day chart and then the question was whether it had already formed a bullish move. So my answer was no. It hasn't formed a bullish move yet to result into a buy. Okay. Why was that so? Because um, uh, they saw a wash and means here, potential wash and means here. My answer was no because there wasn't any wash and means. All right. Uh, why? If you draw a line here like this. Uh, so this is a MAC line. Okay, I didn't draw very nicely. But there wasn't any up yet. That means it hasn't actually gone up yet. Okay. Um, so I think I presume the short is, is safe now. It's slightly safer. At least it enters into a break even. Okay. But if you look back and then you say, hey, look, I want to use the boxes to help me to determine in terms of support level, right? Then you know that uh, at one glance, what would be the support level? And and with the boxes, you can just turn on to the um be the weak boxes here okay uh, so i have the quarter boxes inside the weak boxes you realize that um, the short term the current current uh, trend right you can easily spot it with the boxes how to do that okay so um, two boxes will make up a turning point so two here okay two here all right and then somewhere around here you're gonna have i just got gonna skip some points right and then you have two here and then two here all right, and then two here, and then mark the two here around the same, and then about two here. You know, it's not tough to go and spot two boxes. When you when you spot it, uh, then you realize one thing: the short term is still going up. Okay, so this two boxes concept, uh, I mean, it's nothing, but it just makes it so easy for you to identify two. Okay, uh, it does help the spotting of the turning point easily. All right. Um. So if you look at that right now, the the resistance. This resistance here, okay, it's, it's turning into a support. Uh, then probably, all right, um, you want to pay attention to see whether you still want to maintain the short. Of course, then if it comes down, all right, then it's good news. But if it doesn't, then people will still see this as an uptrend. All right. Um, yeah. Um, so trading is different because when I'm here analyzing, right, when I'm here analyzing, uh, it's easy because I don't have the emotion inside. Okay, but when you own a position and you try to analyze, it's very different, right? Then sometimes your brain, right, will trick you to see things that you don't, you, you might not, if you don't have a position, you might not actually see that. Okay, so in terms of methodology, all right, uh, I know a lot because uh, I probably can tell you all the methods that's in the world, whatever uh, patterns, whatever methods, you know, like Fibonacci, pivots, I can even quote that, calculate that for you and how it's being done, etc. But I realized that throughout the years, what you need is really a simple method, okay? A simple method, right, that can last you through the toughest time. Uh, that's very important, okay? Uh, what are the toughest times is when your position goes sour. And then can you look at the method and say, okay, uh, let's be at peace and then I'm just going to uh, with a calm heart to decide what I want to do.
Thank you.